round felt felt pretty solid. Um, I missed one fairway on the last hole, so I think that that's key on, on, on a course like this. Made a silly bogey on, on 9 and 10, but other than that, it was, it was pretty solid. I think my, my swing is coming together. Um, in the first event, I was fighting a little bit, and yeah, starting to feel better, a bit smoother, and I'm starting to hit the, hit the shots and the shapes that I want to. It's just a blessing to be out on the course playing. I mean, the courses that we're playing are in such great condition and there's such great competition for us. Definitely women's golf has taken a step up and yeah, it's just, just awesome to be out playing again. So two years ago, I, I had a back injury. Um, my L5S1 was underdeveloped um, and my spine started collapsing with some bulging discs. And I was supposed to go for a back operation and then two, three days before my back operation, my doctor called me and he said to me, I can't do this operation because I'm young, um, I'm still fit. And so he took me to another doctor in Pretoria, Dr. Forstler, who we then did stem cell therapy um, and that worked. My back is much better, but it took me two years to, to get that in my back and then um, last year March uh, by chance I found out that I had cancer. It was a huge shock it all happened so quickly and, and the struggles that came with it was just it was it was tough um, I had a very good support system my boyfriend was amazing and his family and my family were were just amazing and um, so yeah, it's, it's it's a big big battle that I that I'm had to go through and still battling at the moment um, yeah it's it's been a long road so for this season, take it one tournament at a time, one day at a time, and just to see how it goes. I mean, it's just a blessing that I'm standing here with you guys today. So, I mean, I'd like to keep making cuts <laughs> and maybe want to get in contention once or twice. Um, just got to keep, keep grinding. Through everything I've been through, I just, it made me realize that it, golf is just a game, you know, and you just got to enjoy it and just be happy because you can't change what happened and you can't change what's going to happen. So just smile and walk it through. Today was, it was a good day. The final result is a good day. Again, I hit it pretty good off the tee box. Uh, just two bad holes, uh, hole 13 and 14. Missed it on the left side on the par three. Had a plug line on, on the slope, so I had to play safe a little bit too hard. I came up with a double drop. I think overall, it was, it was quite dirty. I think for me today, I had a, I stuck to my game plan, didn't really deviate from it. So I got off to like a pretty solid start. I mean, just a couple pars and that. Um, and then, yeah, honestly, just got a couple putts rolling in, um, which was nice to see. And obviously you just build on that confidence. I think in previous rounds, I just, I haven't really got any momentum going. So today finally got some momentum and I was able to make use of the good iron shots that I, that I was hitting. Uh, so yeah, I mean, it was, it was just really getting, getting the putter working and, and firing. As your World of Champions, it means so much to have partnered with Sun International and of course be part of the Sunshine Ladies Tour. And I think for Supersport, it's quite important to note that golf is definitely one of our staples when it comes to our content. But more than anything, um, women in sport are definitely getting out of the shadow. We're definitely shining the light more in women in sport. You look at Nobutla Dlamini, of course, our Eswatini princess. So women's sports is definitely on the rise. So to be a part of this was absolutely amazing and out of this world. A bit of a slow round, made a few birdies, a few drops, I uh, just didn't get enough past the fall at the end of the day, but all in all I'm, I'm pretty happy with, with the tournament. 
I just came through and, and just trusted my game plan, you know, I, I knew that others were longer hitters, so I mean I already knew that from the start, so it was really important to, to trust myself and trust my own game. Things got a little hairy at the end, under pressure a couple kind of creaks in the swing came through and you know doubted myself a little bit here and there but you know I'm proud I was I was grinding through and at the end of the day golf doesn't always have to be pretty you just got to get in the hole and so yeah I was, I was happy with the way that I played. I had an option to go for it and my dad and I decided that we were going to lay up no matter what anyway. So I stuck to the game plan, I knew the rest were going for it and left myself actually such an awkward distance because you know I went from not hitting the ball too well to then all of a sudden striping it out the middle and you know water short you don't really want to be, be short and obviously took the longer club. Got up to that chip, was glad that I was safe and my dad he, he kind of turned around and was like look at it, look to make it, you can make this one and I know I've been tripping really well so you know kind of got down and yeah I was, I was happy that it sunk. Victory for me you know it's been a it's been a tough year leading up to this I'm really proud that I was grinding through it you know when things got difficult I didn't I didn't give up I didn't feel sorry for myself and so like I'm just I'm glad that this can kind of prove to myself that I do belong here and and you know my, my amateur days were good and my pro days can be even better. This is such an awesome series for us and it's so nice to see so many Europeans coming through and you know the competition is really high and so I mean it just it's a good a good stepping stone into maybe other things too. So yeah, I'm I'm really looking forward to it and I'm excited.